This is crazy guys, LV Off-White Air Jordan 1s here in Manila, Philippines. What? What? If it, uh, if it looks like I'm dying and miserable right now, it's because I am. I'm, I'm very allergic to cats. Allergic to cats. <laughs> Today we have a Green Hills shopping, bargaining, adventure. We're gonna do some fake sneaker shopping, maybe some fake streetwear, maybe some fake Supreme shopping, but today we're mainly looking for some fake sneakers and I've been scouting out Green Hills over the last week or so, looking for some outrageously fake sneakers and trying to figure out the pricing as well. Bargaining at Green Hills is different compared to other malls because the rent is much higher here and there is like a really, like a Green Hills organization almost essentially where like more than half the stores are owned by the same sort of union or same boss and so the prices are like set at all the booths. So if you're gonna really get a better price, you're gonna have to buy more than one shoe. So today we're gonna be buying a lot of shoes. I think I have about 11,500 pesos. So I have the conversion up on screen here. And we're gonna try and buy as many fake sneakers as we can today at Green Hills that will fit in my luggage. With that said, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe if you like the content. We have a few more fake bargaining videos like this on the channel, so check them out. I'll leave them linked down below in the description or in the pinned comment. And we're also doing a free Bape sneaker giveaway with the homie Carlo Ople from the Philippines. I'm actually in a studio, as you guys can tell. And if you guys wanna enter that giveaway, all the mechanics will be in the description and pinned comment as well. Following us on Instagram and subscribing on YouTube and dropping a comment on any of our recent videos. With that said, let's get to some bargaining. So walking over to Green Hills now and passing the Jollibee, I'm getting a little sad because Toronto really only has one Jollibee I can go to and it's about a 15 minute drive away. And Jollibee in the Philippines, they got so many man. And they're 24 hour ones here too. So I'm gonna miss my Jollibee when I'm back home in Toronto. But one thing I'm not gonna miss is the heat and the humidity. It is so freaking hot here in the Philippines. It's also my fault I'm wearing pants, but yo, it is hot out here. Green Hills, Green Hills, Green Hills. Here we are. Let's go through the side entrance and uh, see what we can find. All right, so we're here at the very first store of the day at Green Hills and uh, check this out. There's some pretty crazy stuff here. So we have a couple of Air Jordans right here and by a couple, I mean this entire back wall is all fake Air Jordans. And check these out. They have the Air Jordan 1 Off-White Bread Edition. Literally breads is in quotes. And uh, how much? how much are these going for? Five. Two five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the other colorway uh, two five also? Yeah. So the uh, regular Chicago's here or Chicago off whites are also two five. And uh, this is the booth that is actually owned by like the mall management, I believe. So a lot of these prices are pretty much set in stone. Um, but you can probably haggle a couple hundred pesos off. So here's a look at the off white Chicago. They're actually not that bad. The quality of leather could be better, but for two five, it's it's honestly a pretty good price for these. And then they have a couple of the uh, the cheaper quality ones right here. These are like the cheap cheap Air Jordan ones though. Like these you can tell are fake if you see somebody wear these on feet and you know your stuff these are one six or 1600 pesos so they have the shadows they got the breads they have the mids they even have these not sure what these ones are but they do have more expensive ones that I'll try and show you guys which are like 3,000 pesos and they're almost as good as the authentic pairs so here's a look at these ones they also have patent leather ones here as well oh shoot a lot of the display is fragile so here we have some uh, Air Jordan one I think these were the top three but these look like a mid-cut, like they're not very high, the tongue is a little, a little sideways. Uh, how much is this one? Uh, 1800. 1800? And then these, these over here, these I think is is what might have to go down actually. This right here is the only booth in the uh, the mall at Green Hills that has these Air Jordan 1 Levi. Damn, this is insane. I wish they made a black colorway here too. I've only seen the blue ones, but we got the Levi's tag right here. These are these are really cool. This is like a shoe that is like a Green Hills exclusive, I want to say, and I haven't really seen it anywhere else to buy this. So I'll ask how much these are going for. Uh, how much is this one here? Two five. If I buy more than one, can I get a discount? Yeah. yeah? Do you have anything that's 1,000 pesos? Um, no. Sir. No? What's, what's your cheapest shoes here? 1,600. The 1,600 is the cheapest. 
I'll keep looking. So they have a size 10 of these, so I'll put those back for now. The Yeezys don't look very good quality. I can tell these ones are like super fake. The clays like that is supposed to be way more orange, I believe. Fake statics here are actually not bad. The the back uh, the back tab is giving it away a little bit, the way it's like protruding out, but overall, like if you were to wear these on feet, I'm not gonna call you out. These are these look legit as heck if they were on feet. But uh, how much are these ones here? Two five, okay. And then, oh my gosh, look at these guys. Oh, these are horrible. These are some really, really bad fakes. This is like some, not even, uh, we also have the black statics right here too. These look super, super fake as well. Almost as bad as these ones right here. These are two five though. Like they want two five for these ones, it's crazy. These are pretty cool. They got the Air Max 97 undefeated as well. How much are these, two five? 2000 okay so a little bit better on these ones 2000 the black and green they have the black colorway with the red and green the quality is I think it's uh, I've actually never really seen the real ones uh, up close and personal so I can't really vouch for how good these are these are actually said to be inspired by the Philippines the uh, the yellow blue and hits of red on the bottom these released when I was here in October which was pretty cool to see the structure isn't the greatest I feel like the tongue's supposed to go a bit higher it looks like a bit squished but that just might have been because of uh, shipping and like handling and stuff but they have a lot like they have a lot of 270s they're very very popular here at Green Hills here's a look at the bread fours that they have the quality's not that bad actually yeah I want to say these could pass as legit if I were to see these on somebody's feet if some real Jordan 4 expert got this in hand they'd probably be able to expose it I think the tongue here I think the tongue looks the most sloppy out of all of it how much uh, is this one here 1600? Yeah. Okay. Don't have the Nike Air on the back though, and that's the one that everybody wants, the ones with the Nike Air on the back. Okay, so I think we're gonna try and grab those Levi's ones right now, and uh, we'll see we'll see what I can get those for. Can I try these on in size 10? Size 10. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna try on the uh, Levi's ones right here, see how these feel on feet. Size 11 pair. And you always have to try them on, because one time I got a size 10 pair of shoes here, they feel like a size eight. So these actually, they don't feel that bad. I feel like a, a ten and a half, maybe, or a ten would be a bit better. But it's not like I'm actually going to be wearing these, so you know, I might just grab the size eleven, and uh, I'll see if they have a ten and a half. Now the employee's looking for my size. She actually made a phone call, and she's asking like the other boots where the size ten point five is that I could try. So like a lot of these boots work together. So do keep that in mind if you are shopping here at Green Hills. You're not going to be able to negotiate as well, unlike if you go to the Vasoria or Cartamar marketplaces. So we're going to go over to this booth next, the Sorfane gift shop in a second. I can see some uh, I can see some Travis Scott ones right there actually. So we'll see if I can film in here and uh, see what they have. They have a lot of Jordan ones as well. Look, they got Unions, they got the Not for Resales, the Fear of God. They said uh, two five. Two five, sir. You able to do two two? No, sir. They're only two five. Okay, okay, two five. Yeah. Hey, yeah, does it come with a box? I have a box. Is it cheaper with no box? <laughs> you get the box. Yeah, I'll take the box too. Oh, okay, sorry, yeah, sorry. so two five with the box. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So the employee came back with a size ten, and they fit me perfect. So we're gonna go with those. And it looks like you can potentially get a discount if you have no box. Maybe save like fifty or a hundred pesos. But because I do want to get the box for the review, I'm probably not even gonna bring it back home to Canada. But I do want to get a box just to see what the box looks like. Um, but for now, I'll show you guys a couple more sneakers here, and we'll get going to the next booth. Check these out. These are the fake Adidas Ultra Boost 19s. The boost looks really, really cool carved out, but it's actually quite stiff. It almost reminds me of styrofoam, like actually how stiff it is. The prominent upper looks really, really bad. Like it looks blurred together, no detail in it at all. And uh, overall, oh, even the bottom. The bottom looks really weird and cheap too. We got the Continental branding, but I think these are going for uh, one six. We'll throw these back. And they also have a black and white colorway. Now, I love the black and white colorway. It's one of my favorites, but when I see the fake version of it, they just look so ugly. So we'll throw these back too. Okay, thank you. First pair down, let's go to the uh, next door. Alright, so we're here at store number two in Green Hills. We're running low on time. I have to leave around two. It's already 1.33, so we have to be pretty quick while we're here. So let's take a look at what they have. Here is a look at the back Jordan wall that they have. And uh, oh, they have the European exclusive Air Jordan 1 off whites. I did not see this at a couple of the other boots. The size tag is definitely wrong, I want to say, but overall, the shape, the shape of this shoe looks really, really good. Not too bad. How much is this one here? Two five? 
Okay. So two five for these ones right here. Not too bad. They also have like a wall of Balenciaga triple S's. So here's one of the colorways, the most popular colorway. But what's the price for these ones? How much? Two eight. The bread toast. This is is this your best quality also? Yeah, yeah. It looks really good. Those are one eight, and then that's the same shoe but different quality. I can tell the color is different. Yeah. This. What's the price for that? Eighteen hundred, and then this is twenty eight hundred. Okay. So what do you guys think about these bread toes for twenty eight hundred? The quality is honestly really really good. The the tumbled leather here on the toe box is really supple. And then just overall, the form's nice. But then if you want to skimp out and save a thousand pesos, they have like the cheaper versions here. So I can't show you guys the Balenciagas yet since there's other customers, but check these out. They also have the uh, the pine greens available here too. Here's a look at the pine greens. And uh, I think, I actually used to have a pair of these, but I sold mine. Over here we got some of the Fear of God shoes that just came out with Nike. I don't really like these at all. These really remind me of a cast. So here's a look at these. And uh, yeah, how much are these ones here? Those are five five, sir. I'll give you four. Five five, but how much could you give me? Four three. It's a good discount, but I just think it's an ugly shoe. So yeah, salamat po. Ooh, we got the Travis Scott ones. How much is the Travis Scott ones here? Two eight. Two eight as well. What about the Unions? These ones here. Two five? Okay, it's a bit better. Just a small disclaimer, if you guys are hunting for the best possible deal, it's probably in your best interest not to mention the exact name of the sneakers because then they'll think you really know what you're talking about when it comes to the shoes. So just call the shoes by their like color scheme pretty much and then that will hopefully lower the prices for when you're negotiating. The Travis Scott ones, the quality is definitely nowhere near the real pair. And I know some of the fakes have gotten so good that they're getting through StockX. We might grab these if we come back, but uh, we'll keep looking. We've got the Nafa resells, the yellow pair here, and the red pair. Here is the Balenciaga section, all the triple S's. Holy cow, these are massive. How much are these ones, the, the triple S? Three, five. Three, five? Thirty-one. Yeah. But if it's the... The clean one. The clean one, these ones. Yeah, four, four dollars. Four, okay. They also have the hiking one as well. This is the new release that Balenciaga is really, really pushing. They have the white and orange colorway. They got the yellow. These actually went on sale at Barney's New York for like 30% off retail price. How much are the hiking, the hiking ones here? Five thousand. Five thousand? Ooh. Four or five is the cheapest they have for these. It's still quite expensive, but these look like they take a lot more effort to make as fake. They also have the undercover Element React 87s. These are really nice, and the quality, like, the quality is really good. I can't even tell if these are fake or not just by looking at them, so these are really well done. How much are the, this one here, 2.5? Two 2.5, five? Two five, okay. Do they also glow in the dark or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They glow in the dark too? How much is uh, these ones here? 2.5. 2 five. Two five? Ooh, 2,000 best price for the Futurecraft 4Ds. Not bad, not bad at all, but you know what, I think I think we'll go with the, the Travis Scott. Would you be able to do two five for these ones? Okay, so two five? Okay. In what size? Uh, size 10. Is it for you? Yeah, for me. We'll try on the Travis Scott ones right here. Listen to one do that, Travis Scott. So they feel good. Yeah, size 10. I think we'll go with this and we'll do a real versus fake when I get back home in Toronto. <laughs> Here's a look at some of the off-white selection they have. They got the Air Max 90s here. They got these uh, Air Force Ones as well. The Air Force Ones are actually really, really high quality, I want to say. Like, look how good these are. These are going for, I believe, uh, how much are these again? Two five? Yeah. Two five for the black Air Force Ones. They got the white ones here too. These fakes are ridiculously nice. We also got the Prestos here. We got the white ones. We got the black ones. And of course, the OGs. The OGs I find are uh, pretty pretty cheap in, in comparison to the other ones. How much is the Prestos? Two five. Two five. Off white is two five. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And this is crazy too. They actually have Puma RSX here at Green Hills. I never thought I'd see Puma RSX here. Puma Thunder Spectres here too. How much are the Puma Thunders? Two. Okay. You gotta hit me right back like on the phone. No, I can't hold this phone. I can't hold this phone. No, no. I can't hold this phone anymore. Ooh, we got some Supreme bags right here. I think these are going for uh, two five, but they have cheaper ones for one thousand. All right, now we're heading to the next part of Green Hills. More fake sneakers to behold. Here's one of the boots right here. 
lots of stuff. We'll keep it going though. Oh my gosh, it is a busy, busy Saturday here at Green Hills. So many people are here, holy cow. Here's a look at more of the booths. I'm trying to find something that really stands out to me like the Off-White Cortez, but it doesn't look like we can see them. I see some Off-White Air Max 270s down there. We got some Air More Up Tempos. We're at the next booth, and uh, this is a look at their Nike and Jordan wall. They have a lot of Nike basketball. And check this out, they even have the Royal um, Off-White ones right there. So here's an up-close look at the Royal Air Jordan 1 Off-White, size 9.5, Off-White for Nike. And uh, yeah, how much are these? Two five. Two five? Ooh, the last time I was here they said two, so I don't know. I think we'll have to skip on these and uh, maybe look for the Off-White Cortez because we're low on money now. Teach you how to lose track of my location. Teach you how to hold on when you're losing patience. Teach you how to move on even though you hate this. I ain't really good for you, just more of the same shit. Never really been involved, I just write it off. Living like my watch loan to me, I can never take it off. Keep my rhymes close to me, ain't a riddle I can't These are crazy, I've never seen these before. Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the red colorway with the white stripe on the side. Giving off like a candy cane kind of vibe. How much are these? 1800. 1800? And only small sizes, I take it? No, yeah. Yeah? It's only one. Only one? Oh, okay, okay. They also have the off white Nike Cortez, but they only have a size 8.5, and I need a size 10. So we're gonna keep on looking for this. But uh, these are really cool. These are definitely like one of the shoes I think that uh, Nike should have done with Virgil. So this right here is the main shopping area. There's a lot of bags here as well. We're gonna go downstairs and show you guys a couple more of the stores that I like to shop at. Well, I don't really like to shop at, but they're probably some of the better stores. They're really low key, so they're not gonna be as crowded as the other stores. And uh, they have some pretty crazy stuff, which I'm about to show you guys. So we're here at the next store of the day. They have a lot of off-white blazers. Check it out, a few colorways here. They have the original ones, the black ones, the clays. They have a designer section too with Gucci, Balenciaga. A ton of Gucci shoes, like so many Gucci shoes. So if that's your thing, they got you here. They got the Sean Witherspoons as well, and some small sizes too. And then they even have the Human Races, the NMDs, but they uh, they feel like bricks right here. The foam feels like a brick. Oh my gosh, these are crazy. The Human Race Supreme NMDs. What on earth, these are insane. Here's a look at more of the Yeezys that they have. They surprisingly have some Y3s. Not expecting to find those. And then they have the new Sakai running shoes that just came out. How much are these going for? Um, 4,000. 4,000 got the double swoosh and everything. I know some people really don't like these because the platform is a bit too much for them Looks like a woman's wedge, but uh, I still like the shoe. They have a couple more colorways too This one's like probably the loudest out of all of them very loud the double tongue too Some people can go without the double tongue, but these do have two tongues on them. This is probably my favorite actually Yeah, these, these have got to be my favorite out of all of these. How much is this one here? Same also. Same also And last but not least they also have a black and white one here too. So they got some new releases here too. They got the Game of Thrones Ultra Boost. These are the ones that I think uh, Full Locker gave me actually. And then they have these ones too. Let's see how these are in hand. I gotta say the Prime Knit is a little iffy on the toe box. So that might be a giveaway. The leather's not bad on the side and the overall shape is pretty good. This is new too. They got the Adidas Night Joggers. The boost material looks really, really bad. It almost looks like a fish scale, which is too bad. And then they also have this gray one. I'm actually really surprised they made fakes of these because these are sitting at a lot of stores you can just go into. Um, how much are these ones? Um, three, five. three five for the night joggers that's a lot for the night joggers Damn. here's a look at the balenciaga selection that they got this is a colorway i've never seen before this is one's freaking loud man this is a super super loud colorway here's a look at more of the nmds they got the pharrells in a few different colorways pretty much all of them then what are these i've never seen these before i think this is the nike daybreak sort of reminds me of the nike runner but this is like nike's version of it Pretty cool. And then this wall right here is their sales section, the 1200 peso section. So if you're balling on a budget, you know, you need some cheap shoes, but still want to stun a little bit. They got a whole bunch of stuff. Check it out. They got off-white Chicago's up here. Some off-white Chicago's. These are going for 1,200 pesos for these particular off-white Chicago's. And the materials and the colorway of this shoe is just so, it's so off. So that's why it's here at the 1,200 peso section. This would be a fun little like novelty prank kind of gift for somebody. Maybe do a prank on Tim. Oh. My gosh, I can't believe my eyes. They have Louis Vuitton off-white. What? LV off-white Air Jordan ones here in Manila, Philippines. What? 
So we're trying on the uh, size 9.5 LV Off-White. Let's see how these feel. They didn't have a size 10, they only have a size 9.5 and 11. But we'll see if these are any good. Ooh. Yeah, just like real designer shoes, the sizing is definitely weird, so I think we can go with the 9.5. Check these out. This was definitely not a release that came out, but I believe this is a custom pair that they made fakes of. I think I've seen this online, and I think they made like 30 pairs or less. I think the real ones were going for like 3,000 US dollars to 4,000 US dollars, a custom by Says. I think that's the actual name. So Off-White Louis for Says, Air Jordan 1 Brooklyn on the side. These are insane. I think we're gonna try and buy these. How much are these ones? Six? Six thousand, that's a lot. Would you be able to do uh, four thousand? Four five. Four five? Okay, you know, I think I think we can do four five. We'll do four five. Four thousand five hundred pesos, here we are. Thank you very much. Now we have three pairs of fake sneakers. Oh my gosh, I have room for one more in my luggage. So this booth here has the Para Air Max 270s. Negotiated down to 1.6, my size. We'll try these on, see what they look like, but uh, see how they feel. These look cool. These look really, really cool. Let's see. Ooh, there's like a part that like sticks out on my, my foot. It's a little uncomfortable, but really cool shoe. Might have to come back and grab these ones. Ooh, what about these? They have Ultra Boost 19 off whites. They got two different colors. They have the white Ultra Boost 19 off whites here with boost on the side. How much is this one? Two three. Two three? Can you? Twenty nineteen model. Ooh. Can you do one six at all? Nothing. Two thousand. Uh, I I don't even have two thousand. I have one six like that. Yeah. I, I like the off-white. I need the I need the off-white. Okay, thank you. And they also have the black off-white UB19s here too. But they uh, originally wanted 2.3 and the best they can do is 2,000. All I have is 1,600 left, so we're gonna have to pass on these boys. So I'm also stopping by a couple more of my favorite fake Green Hill sneaker stores here. And they just don't have the shoes I want. I'm looking for those off-white Nike Cortez. No store seems to have them. And the one that I wanted to buy them at, they closed down last night. Because yesterday was May 31st and a lot of the stores, like their rent is pretty much up for that month. And uh, yeah, so the store I wanted, is it's gone. It's evaporated. So I'll show you guys one more booth. These guys have like crazy expensive Air Jordan ones for 3,000 pesos. But the quality is really, really good. So this is the booth that had some of the best Air Jordan ones in Green Hill's fake marketplace. The Chicago ones looked really good. And they have the real deal from StockX. And the quality honestly is not bad at all for what you're paying i think it's like 77 dollars canadian here's a look at the breads and the breads were also in really really good shape in comparison to a lot of the fakes i've seen in the past the fakes are honestly getting better and better and the jordan ones are probably some of the best fakes you can find on the market so make sure you're not getting scammed research your jordan ones and learn how to legit check them yourself but yeah there's a look at the breads i wasn't able to take videos but these were the photos i was able to take so this this is the store i wanted to buy the off-white nike cortez at, but they're gone they're gone. So we're at the final booth of the day and uh, check it out. They have these really cool Sean Witherspoons right here. They have like two different colorways of them besides the original one. So this is the very first one. Was this a family and friends or a custom? I'm not entirely sure. This is the second pair right here, the sky blue with the yellow. So these are these are cool. I wish they released these ones. Here's a look at more of the shoes they have. They got the Travis Scott ones here too. They got the Fear of Gods, the RSXs. So this is like the typical booth. A lot of these shoes, a lot of the same stores have. They also had the black Ultra Boost 19 off whites and they're checking for my size right now. So we'll see what we can do for those. Here's a look at some of the off white selection again. The Air Force Ones are so scarily close to the real ones, it's, it's really scary. We also have the Just Do It Air Force Ones. They do make fakes of these ones. I know they sat in some places, but these aren't even that hype, but they do have fakes because uh, they're a very, very popular release. So they have those. They also got the Air Force One Low Utilities. This is actually one of the better fake versions I've seen for this one. I've seen ones where the swoosh is just like really weird looking, but this one's pretty much spot on. Damn, they killed it on this one. And they also have a couple of Air Jordan 1s down here. I got the Union. I like this colorway, but I like the blue one a bit better. So I'll throw these back. And then they have this one. This is the fire one I really, really like. These are nice. So here are the Ultra Boost 19 off whites. Got me the size 10, so we'll see if these are any good. So I was ready to buy these off white Ultra Boost 19s, and when the employee came back after looking through his inventory, he brought me back a pair of Ultra Boost 19s without any off white branding, and I wasn't able to record it, but. Yeah, he just took an L because he wasn't able to find me the pair. So I went to a competing booth, the competing stall right beside of it. And at this stall, I was not able to take any videos, but they were cool with photos, strangely. strangely.
oddly enough. So here's a look at the uh, Justin Timberlake Black Cement 3, the JTH Air Jordan 3 Black Cement. Not a shoe that hasn't even been released yet, to my knowledge. They also had the Air Jordan 1 Low uh, Black Toes. They also had the yellow ones as well. These new Jordan 1 Lows are really hot for the summer, so I was really surprised they actually had these uh, in these big stores. They also had the Ultra Boost 19 All White Colorway, and this was the pair I actually ended up buying. The Jordan 11 Low Snakeskin. Now, these fakes looked horrible. Oh my gosh, these were some ugly, ugly, ugly Air Jordan 11 Lows. The real deal looked way better. Here's a look at the White Cement Air Jordan 4s. Now, these weren't horrible. You know, I've seen worse Jordan 4s, and Jordan 4s are pretty easy to spot when they're fake, especially when it comes to the tongue. Here's a look at the Fire Red Air Jordan 4s that are expected to release this year, but with Nike Air branding on the back. And then last but not least, check out these Bape NMD Pharrells. These are just... These are wild. I swear, I'm pretty sure someone made a real custom of this, and this is a fake that they uh, ripped off, but this is just a wild custom. A very, very wild custom. Grabbing these now. I'll do this 19, so I'll show you guys this on the channel very, very soon. That makes four pairs. And uh, these are going for 1.8. They originally said 2.2, two, two, but first customer of the day, so we're blessed. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure you enter our Bape sneaker giveaway by commenting down below your favorite fake sneaker you saw in today's video. You guys can also subscribe to the channel for that entry as well, and like the video. And if we can get like 3,000 likes, we'll give away some of the fake shoes we got in today's video, like those off-white Louis Vuittons. With that said, my Instagram's at sneakertoxie, so follow me over on there as well for the Bape Sneaker Giveaway. And if you guys want more videos like this, then check out the videos on screen right now. The left one is my most recent vlog with real sneakers. And then on the right side of the screen, we have a uh, fake sneaker bargaining video with my friend Carlo Ople that we did a few months ago here in Manila.